Welcome back, fishing fam. Are you looking for a transducer for your Humminbird Helix or another Humminbird unit and you get totally lost and confused on what transducers will work with your unit and what functions they'll even have? Well, Humminbird has a couple of simple and easy to use tools that'll help you find exactly what you need for whatever your application is. Today's video is sponsored by Carl's, but more about them later in the video. A quick rundown of what I'm going to cover with you today is we're going to go over the two tools from Humminbird's website. I'm going to give you a real example of how to use those tools. I'm going to show you how to find the model numbers for your head unit and for your transducer. And lastly, I'm going to give you the link to the tools themselves so you guys can use them yourselves. Now let's go ahead and get set up at the computer so I can uh, show you guys what we're talking about. By the way, in case you ever need an awesome stand-up desk, the back of a boat works perfectly. But back to the video here. I mentioned that there's two tools. The very first one, you need to know both the head unit model number and the transducer model number. If you have both of those, you plug it in and it's going to give you that compatibility. Uh, probably an example of a situation that you find yourself in. You buy a boat, maybe you want to know if the two, two are compatible and you want to know their full functionalities, uh, you can look it up this way. Uh, maybe you find a deal or a buddy gives you one on a transducer and you want to know if it's going to work with your unit as well. On my screen here, you could see that I have the compatibility tool up and I have a real life example. I'm going to use my old Humminbird Helix unit that I have. I took some pictures of its uh, model number here. It is a Helix unit. Uh, it is a Helix 12 Chirp SI GPS G2N, if that's not a mouthful for you. Uh, Helix Chirp uh, SI GPS G2N, right there. That is it. We're going to select us a transducer. The transducer that was installed on my boat when I first got it uh, was an XTM9. So let's go down to XTM9. XTM9 uh, SI180, SI180T. All right, and that's it there. Now we're gonna show the results here. Here's my unit. Here is the transducer. It's a trolling motor mount transducer. Uh, it has no mounting kit or hardware. It is a side imaging transducer. Uh, the unit will work with this selected transducer to the full extent of the transducer's capabilities. So that tells me that we're going to be missing a few frequencies on here um, because the unit is probably more capable than the transducer is. The other tool uh, that I'm going to show you will give you more specifics of what frequencies are available. So let's check those out. Oh, before moving on, I want to mention that it does have here at the bottom, it tells you uh, what to select on your menu to the connected transducer type. It says go to your menu options and select compact side imaging transducer. This will help your unit identify what transducers plugged into it. Uh, this is really important for the Humminbird Helix because you have to do this. All the Solix and Apex units, they just automatically identify the transducers. Oh, by the way, if you find this content super useful or super helpful, or if you have a very important question about these tools, let me know in the comments below. I always get to my comments within a few days, so don't hesitate to leave them below. But real quickly, let's get a quick message in from our sponsor today, Carl's. Carl's has been a longtime sponsor of the channel, and I absolutely love to use them to buy all my fishing tackle and all my fishing accessory needs. Uh, really, it's a one-stop shop to get everything that you could ever want fishing-wise, and I will show you exactly why I love Carl's. Let's head on over to the computer. Look right here, already just popping up the website. They almost always... In fact, I'm pretty sure they always have some kind of special sale going on. Look at this warehouse sale up to 60% off. Let's click on it and check out what they may have. Complete warehouse sales. You have categories over here. I'm going to click on one of my favorite and that is tackle bundles. Looks like we have grab and go hard baits, a saltwater kit and some MTB favorites. Look at the savings here, 65% off. 
on kits that would have been costing us $50, $40, or $35. Oh, by the way, if you're not a Carl's Club member, right now is a great time to sign up. You get your very first month free and look at the kind of deal you get. $17.50 to $12.25, who can beat that? So take a little time, check out Shop Carl's. I love them and I'm sure you'll love them too. So right now, let's get back to the video, what you guys really came here to watch. So the second tool here is a little better in my opinion. Uh, you put in your head unit, what exactly head unit you have, and it spits out a whole lot of information of transducers that are fully compatible with your head unit, of transducers that are partially compatible. Uh, it gives you all the Mega Live, Mega 360, the 360 imaging compatibility. It gives you all those. The only thing it doesn't give you is with each transducer, uh, which menu option you should select on your Humminbird Helix uh, so that everything's working correctly. So you might have to go back to the first tool that I showed to get that information. So now let's run through the exact same example here. I have the tool pulled up here. Let's click on it. My Humminbird unit uh, was a Humminbird Helix 12 uh, Chirp. SI GPS G2N. This one right here, I want to click on it and simply click results. And here we go. Uh, so it has recommended transducers by mounting location for this unit. So the top here has uh, transom. This is the one that it comes with XM920 MSIT. It has the trolling motor one, which is the same number with a T in the, between the X and the M. We have a through-hole transducer. Um, there is not an in-hole transducer. Uh, a portable transducer, not recommended on both of this one. It does have an ice transducer. Ice transducers only have a 2D sonar and no temperature. That kind of makes sense. The water is freezing. So the first set here, it provides SI, DI, and 2D. So some of the capabilities that the head unit is capable of, these transducers may not be able to do. Um, in fact, actually one of these I think is the, the one that I did the example on, the XDM9SI180T. So there are some functionalities that that transducer uh, can't do. Don't know exactly what those are here. We would have to go look that transducer up and figure that out. Uh, the down imaging ones, here's the down imaging ones. I have a whole list of them. If you just want 2D, here's some 2D. Hey, guess what? It's compatible with 360 imaging, but not compatible with Mega 360 or Mega Live. And it tells you exactly what you need for the Minn Kota built-in transducers as well. So from here, I would actually take a little bit of time and okay, depending on the mounting location, I know I'm looking for something that's an XTM. Uh, so that would be this one for a trolling motor mount uh, and an XNT. I would have to look that one up. I don't know what that mounting location is. Uh, but if I wanted to look this one up, I could look up what functions that transducer has on Humminbird's website, see what all it supports versus what it recommends here and kind of see the differences there and see what I'm missing and see if it's important. I'm not going to do an example of that one uh, just because that is really time consuming and it takes a lot of reading and there are so many transducers out there. It can become mind boggling at times. So I don't really want to go through that. But James, I have no idea what head unit I have or what transducer I have for that matter. Well, I'll help you out there. There's th actually three ways to tell which head unit you have. The first way is when you turn on your head unit, there will be a screen that shows exactly what that head unit is. It'll tell you the functionalities and all of it. If you don't want to do that, you don't have power or whatever, you're just looking at one, uh, maybe online, or maybe you're looking at it attached to someone's boat, you can pull that transducer off. And on the back where the serial number is located, uh, there is a sticker that has that same information, Humminbird, Helix, blah, blah, blah. It has all that as well. 
The third, uh, say you turn it on, you're playing with it, and you don't want to restart the unit. Hey, it takes a little bit of time. You can go to the system status screen, and it will tell you also at the top there which Hummingbird head unit you have. So those are three ways to tell which Hummingbird head unit you have. So the transducer one is a little bit more difficult because you only have one shot on the cable on the plug-in, there should be a little tag. Mine was yellow. I've seen some other colors as well, but mine was yellow and it has the model number of that transducer on there. If not, you're gonna have to look through some pictures, see what you can find that looks similar to it. Also, you may need to look at a part number on there and see if you can make a link that way. By the way, I do have a whole playlist of fishing electronics, including how to get some of the best images from your unit. So make sure you check out that playlist. By the way, if you're still looking at fish finders, I actually have a whole playlist of comparing different ones here as well. But until next time, see you later, fishing fam.